And more than 500 U.S. Armed Forces personnel overseas put themselves in the shoes of Boston Marathon runners. The so-called Boston Marathon Shadow Run took place on Friday at Bagram Airfield in Afghanistan. And as Sonia Goins reports, a Plymouth man was the first to cross that finish line. There were lots of cheers as the race gun sounded at 3 o'clock in the morning. I think this is the flattest course I've ever seen. The start time was a secret due to security at Bagram Airfield. I think that uh, the atmosphere here is a lot more fun than in the States. I mean, you got people here that really want to be here and serve their country. Josh Peterson of Plymouth was the leader of the pack. This was his ninth marathon. Finally getting a chance to be part of it this year was um, certainly something I've been looking forward to for over a year. Peterson is no stranger to running. He's been hitting the pavement since 1999. I went to Armstrong High School and ran cross country, uh, did track and cross country skiing. He also worked for the Brooklyn Center Police Department as a community service officer. It was a great experience and it's what kind of set me on the track to doing federal law enforcement. Peterson now works for the U.S. Department of State, providing embassy security. He says the Boston Marathon shadow course was difficult. Of course there's potholes and things like that because it's a military base and you know we've been, we're in a developing country. Um, but it was kind of tough, tough to see the, uh, the footing for most of it because there's not a lot of lighting on the base. The altitude was 5,000 feet. Some runners suffered from dehydration. It's pretty much like running a marathon in Denver, only with uh, a lot more pollution. But this was Peterson's best race ever. I ran the, the fastest time I've run in a marathon ever by about 40 seconds. He says he remembered the three people killed and the 200 injured in last year's Boston Marathon. You know, no matter what happens, you know, at the end of the day, we persevere, you know, we, we support each other. This is Peterson crossing the finish line at two hours, 39 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, this is the first one I've ever won. I, usually there's a lot of professional runners out in the field, so this is a real treat for me. Now, this is the last Boston Marathon shadow run affiliated with Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. The troops will be pulled out at the end of the year. Mike and Alex Peterson is coming home for a short vacation next week. He told me he's hoping for snow.